Hello. So today I'm looking at the ADATA SX8200 Pro uh, M2 SSD. I'll be unboxing it and uh, showing a performance review. So I'm in the process of building a new desktop PC as mine's at least 13 years old and was probably last upgraded in 2011. That upgrade was with a Samsung 830 SSD and at the time the SSD upgrade was a game changer. Uh, it really gave a leap in boot time and general Windows performance. Unfortunately being only 64 gigs it was really only just big enough to install the operating system on so the benefit wasn't really felt in other applications or games. However, for the same price now, you can pick up a 512GB M2 SSD with apparently nearly 10 times the read-write performance. So I'm really keen to see how they perform. Uh, I took a look at what was available and it's really important to be aware that there's a big gap in performance between some of the M2 drives. There are fundamentally two different bus types to look out for. The slower drives still use a SATA interface and will have read speeds of up to about 0.75 gigabytes a second and some will use PCI Express uh, 2 speed uh, but for a really fast drive you need to look out for the PCI Express 4 speed drives and with non-volatile memory express or NVMe and these have read speeds up to 3.3 gigabytes a second uh, so first I'm going to take a look at what's inside the box, then I'll show some benchmarking results of the ADATA M2 drive versus my Samsung SSD 830 and a traditional SATA 3 Seagate hard disk drive. So please let me know what you think in the comments below and if you'd like to see more videos like this then uh, please like and subscribe. So here we have an ADATA XPG SX8200 Pro M2 drive. It's an NVMe Gen 3 times 4 PCIe 3 SSD. So this model is apparently capable of up to 3,500 megabytes a second read and 2,300 megabytes a second write. Uh, I bought this in March 2020, and it was 71.99. Open it up and see what's inside. Okay, we've got the M2 drive itself and a stick on uh, heat spreader by the looks of it. Doesn't come with screws, so you need to use the screws that come with your motherboard. So now we'll take a look at the performance benchmarks against my other drives and against the claimed max speeds. Uh, the machine this tested on is my new build with an ASRock B450M Steel Legend motherboard, AMD Ryzen 2600X CPU and 16GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM. It was first tested in Windows 7 and then again in Windows 10 using Crystal Disk Mark 7 benchmarking tool. So here we can see the results of my uh, Seagate 750GB uh, traditional hard disk drive. Uh, it is SATA 2, so in theory it should be capable of up to 3 gigabits per second or 300 megabytes per second. But in this case the limitation is obviously the uh, hard drive itself rather than the uh, bus speed. So we can see here that the sequential read speed is about 71 megabytes a second and write speeds very similar. Um, so with traditional hard disk drives uh, the sequential read is always going to be much better than the random read because uh, obviously a disk is spinning and the read head is just moving across the disk as opposed to having to jump all around the disk. And here we can see the Samsung 830 SSD, so it's about 10 years old I guess. Uh, again it's SATA 3, uh, so theoretically capable of up to 6 gigabits per second, 750 megabytes per second. In this case we're much closer to the protocol, but still the disk seems to be the limiting factor. 
and we're running about 485 megabytes per second read speed, uh, sequential, and uh, 287 read speed random uh, with an SSD. That was always the benefit: was the uh, reading random, reading and writing random segments is much faster than on a traditional hard hard drive. Uh, but even the sequential read write is, is also fast. And here we can see the new ADATA SX8200, a uh, significant improvement on the old Samsung drive. And we're looking at uh, just over 3 gigabytes a second read speed in uh, sequential mode and nearly 2 gigabytes a second write speed. And here we have the test results in Windows 10. I'm not sure why, but the sequential reads are a little bit slower. Um, but overall, I would say that this drive, the ADATA SX8200, is uh, really pretty good value for money. Um, since I've been using it over the last few weeks uh, on mainly video editing and kind of copying large files around, it really has been a significant improvement. Uh, on my old machine uh, so yeah I think like I say in March 2020 uh, it's definitely a good value drive thanks for watching please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you'd like to see more videos like this then don't forget to like and subscribe